Hi guys, Shelley from Cromarty here. I hope you're all keeping well. Well, some of you opened last week, but for those of you that didn't, I'm just gonna give you a few helpful tips from those that have opened, and also some things that you need to think about when opening your studio. So the first thing you need to do is go online and have a look at the government guidelines on how to open up safely and correctly. And then you need to print off all the relevant signage to go outside your studio at your entrance. Um, and that's also where you need to have your anti back station for coming in. Uh, once you've sorted all of that, the next thing you need to think about is a booking system. Now we recommend a painting time of about an hour and a half and then about 15 minutes. Some people are leaving 30, it's entirely up to you, whatever you think is appropriate. But we say about 15 minutes between bookings um, for you to be able to clean your tables and get everything sorted and also stop your guests from interacting with other guests. So that's the next thing. Um, then, once we get inside the studio, so the inside of your studio, your tables obviously need to be social distanced, so um, you're going to have less tables in there. Then, some of the tables that you've got, if you have got the space, you could move outside um, if the weather's okay. If not, then just obviously stick to the inside. And if you have got the space, also it might be worth thinking about a one-way system so that they can come in and go out a different way. Um, the next thing that you need to think about is your bisque. Now, we found it very helpful in many studios to instead of having different prices for different pieces of bisque, is actually having different shelves at different prices so they can see the price, so they don't need to go up and pick up the item and see how much it is. It's all mapped out for them. So they can just point and say, oh, I want to play, you know, paint that dragon bank, it's 15 pounds. I can see that everything on that shelf is £15. I don't need to get up and touch it or move around. So the next thing is when your guests arrive. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that they know to turn up just before their allocated booking time and wait outside. Then you need to get one of your staff to escort them to their table so that they go around the right way, around the one-way system, or go straight to the table. Um, this is where we're encouraging staff to wear either visors and or masks, but please keep checking the government guidelines for this because obviously this is always changing. And um, this is obviously where they're going to come in and use the anti back as well and things before they come and sit down. So once they're sat at their tables and they've picked their bisque, then your staff need to go and pick up the bisque and bring it to the table. So basically, you need to get your staff to do as much as possible that takes it away from people getting up and moving around the studio. So if they want a fun writer or a pencil, um, get your staff to bring those things to the table. And where we sponge down the bisque before painting, get the staff to do that as well so that they're um, not touching anything else. So they're basically just sitting at the table and painting. If you're gonna use any foam clay, this is also a good time to mention the individual pots, you know, the small, um, the small tubs that you can buy rather than the big ones. Get your customers to purchase these rather than split up big pots to avoid contamination and then they can just take them away with them and use whatever they're left with and then you haven't got the, the contamination and clean up afterwards. Uh, so that's foam clay. When your guests leave. Now, when they leave, again, it's advisable to escort them out and then you need to clean your tables. You need to clean your tables, your chairs, high chairs, anything that you've been using. You need to make sure that you give that a really, really good wipe down. And like we said earlier, 15 minutes between parties um, to make sure that that's all clean. We're advising you to then take your paint carousels, your brushes, your water, take those all into the back where you wash them and put clean, fresh ones on that you will probably have saved from other tables where you're not using them for social distancing, which then gives you plenty of time to be able to wash those other ones up later for the next lot of guests. Um, so then you know that everything is clean, there's no contamination and everything's good to go. Then obviously you're gonna take your bisque, so you remove the bisque and put that wherever you're gonna do your glazing. And then when it comes to cleaning um, the kiln and things like that, if you're using the dryers or you're using the kiln, just make sure that when you load them, you wipe down the controllers, you wipe down the handles, the lids, anything that you've touched really. Um, 
and just keep the area clean. It's common sense. Um, just keep washing your hands and using anti-back and all of that. Um, and that's it really. Hopefully um, I've explained anything. If there is anything else that I haven't said or you've got any questions on, then please do give us a call and we'll be happy to help. Um, but like I say, the main thing is to go to the government guidelines, check that out, make sure you're doing everything that's on there. And common sense, keep healthy and safe and good luck with your opening. Bye.